What's up y'all? It's Reagan here showing you how I make my homemade and about 99% organic hair conditioner. You can use it as a leave-in or a deep conditioner. You can even put it on your skin if you want to use it as a body butter. So I had so many products to choose from because my mom is kind of a fanatic and we're kind of health freaks. But for this tutorial you'll need beeswax, a handful of cocoa butter, and about, it looks like a heaping cup of shea butter. But when you push it down, it actually makes one complete cup. So the first step that you're going to do besides measuring out all your stuff is you're going to heat some water and put it on a pot to boil over the stove. Not too much to overflow, but not too little that it'll burn out. And then you're going to put a preferably glass bowl over that water. Then you're going to add one fourth cup of beeswax and just let it melt there. After this, you can add your cocoa butter since that also takes a while to melt and melt them both completely so that you don't have any hard pieces in there. After that, you'll add your shea butter and just mix it on the stove until it's pretty much melted because the shea butter doesn't need as much melting. After that, we just beat it up a little bit and then put it into a mixing bowl. I actually used a full-size mixer because my mom used to make cakes and stuff like that, so we had one on hand. And you're going to use even more oils, which are very conditioning to the hair. I used one half cup coconut oil. And don't forget to turn on your mixer because I didn't do it at first, but I finally caught on to it. And then you're going to use one fourth cup olive oil and one fourth cup avocado oil as well. So just a little bit about the essential oils I'm using. I'm using frankincense and myrrh, some lavender. I'm also using vitamin E oil, vitamin C oil, and jojoba oil. So those are just the ones that I chose to use. You guys can really use whatever you want, but the ones pictured are the ones that I decided to use. Plus the jojoba, it's not there though, but you'll see it in a second. So in order to allow more air to get into the mixture, we switched out the beater to be an actual whisk beater. And then I used about a teaspoon of vitamin E oil a teaspoon of vitamin C oil. About a teaspoon of myrrh. A full dropper of frankincense, just because I love the smell of it. And about 20 drops of lavender. Really, it all depends on what you like when it comes to the smells. And I use two good squirts of jojoba oil. So after those were added, I let it mix a little bit and just so it'll cool down some more because we had it on the um, stove, I beat it over a bowl with ice water in it. And as you can see, it's starting to get a little thicker and it ends up whipping up pretty nicely. So it's just like when you make fresh whipped cream, that's basically all you do. And I just allowed that to mix for a bit longer until everything was incorporated on the beater. And then I moved over to package it up. I always like to package everything, no matter if it's food or whatnot. I package it in glass, and you want to keep this at room temperature. You don't have to refrigerate it, though. So that was it. I hope you guys really liked the video and that you loved the recipe. It was a pleasure making it for you, and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Love you guys. Peace.